look to your left and to your right and tell your neighbor today not tomorrow today is your day not next week today not next month today not next year today today are you in the house this morning allow me a few minutes i'm coming i'm coming your way deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 1 now these are the commandments the statutes and the judgments which the lord your god commanded to teach you that you may do them in the land whither you go to possess verse 2 that you may fear the lord your god that you may respect honor the lord your god to keep all his statutes and his commandments which I have commanded you. You and your sons and your sons' sons. All the days of your life. And that your days may be prolonged. Verse 3. Hear therefore, royal house chapel. Observe to do it. That it may be well with you. And that you may increase mightily. You will not just increase. It will be an exponential manifestation of increase. Eyes have not seen. Ears have not. Oh my goodness. It has not entered into the hearts of men. The increase that you will experience. Somebody is about to meet you on the roadside tomorrow. And he will not recognize you. She will not know it's the same person. The Lord would have elevated you. The same God that moved Joseph from the prison to the palace. He's still alive today. Look over to your neighbor and say today, today. Today is your day. Uh-huh. That he may increase you mightily as the Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of San Crunchy Ankara, has promised you in the land that flows with milk and with honey. Something good is coming your way. The book of Psalms, chapter 90, verse 12, you're familiar with that verse. Please turn to it quickly and we'll do that and let's look at what God has to say to us this morning. My goodness, put your hand on your neighbor's shoulders and say to your neighbor, there is something about God. He's in this house and he's coming your way. Say not tomorrow. Say not next week, but today. Say right now is coming your way so teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts to wisdom please just give me 30 minutes 45 minutes i'm done lift up your arm of strength wherever you are if you're left-handed like i am lift up your left hands left-handed people are, are, are special people if you're right handed, if right handed, I forgive you, you can lift up your right hand as well. You're in good company. If you're ambidextrous, that means you use your left and your right. You can lift up both of your hands for a double and not. <laughs> Praise God. Now talk to God. I give you three seconds to say to God, if you will visit anybody this morning, it will be me. Talk to God, somebody. Say to God, whatever grace, whatever anointing whatever it is that you will do in this place if anybody will be a partaker of a miracle if anybody will receive a divine visitation if anybody will be elevated in this place if anybody will be taken by the hand to cross over whatever jordan if anybody will be a goliath slayer if anybody will be the next testimony say to your god it will be me if you will touch anybody if you 
you will lift up anybody, if you will pour out the oils of the anointing upon anybody, if you will grant the grace of an open heaven, say to your God, it will be me this morning. I'm here, I'm willing, I'm available. By the lifting of my hands, I signify that I'm registering with the host of heaven. Do with me as you please. Visit me as only you are able. Do what only you are able to accomplish. And I wish somebody would shout yes if you're in the house. Father, I pray in the name that is above every other name that you would make available in this pulpit and the pews the anointing that is required that we may handle your engrafted word with meekness. Give us an open heaven that your word it may find its course and glorify the Father. Let there be an indelible inscription on the table of every man and woman's heart. Your immutable, unchanging, unfailing, unrelenting word of truth to what only you can accomplish in this place and above all we pray you will receive glory you will receive honor you will receive praise and the saints of God shouted Amen. the saints of God shouted Amen. say the third time the saints of God shouted Amen. clap your hands as you take your seat this morning you are welcome in Jesus name can we talk for a few moments? Today is your day. I said today is your day. The Bible says in 2 Samuel chapter 23, you can read it later, verse 10. And David arose and smote the Philistines until his hand was tired and his hand clung to the sword the AK-47 of the time. And the Lord wrought a great victory in that day. Today is your day. I said today is your day. Today is the day of your visitation. Today is the day of your deliverance. Not tomorrow. Hear me this morning. Not next week not next month not next year today is the day of your visitation today is the day of your turnaround all things will work together for your good not tomorrow but today today is the day of favor today is the day that everything will align itself and everything will uh, who am i talking to this morning today is your day you have been searching you have been suffering you have been struggling you have been afflicted you have been ignored everybody has been overtaking you but i said let me say it again today is your day shout yes if you're in the house everything good has bypassed you everybody is standing to give their testimonies you have wondered over the weeks and the months and the years when will be your turn this man came from afar to tell you this is your day this is your season the louder your yes the louder your visitation you woke up this morning and you did not know that today is your day you thought it was just another day you thought you were just coming to church as you always have but hear me by the spirit of god today is your day aha uh -huh. the day of your empowerment the day of your anointing the day of your breakthrough the day of your power the day of your conquest the day of your overcoming the bible says and david in that day he overcame all of his enemies i came to tell someone this morning god does not need one year he does not need one month he just needs one day to visit you today is your day are you in the house and i have good news for you nothing can stop it <laughs> oh my goodness let me talk to somebody your faith may be weak but join your faith to the set man over this house and the presbytery
that God has established in this place. This is not a rotary club. This is not a social club. This is not a political party. This is the church of the firstborn, the place of his power. And I'm telling you right now, there is nothing that can stop what God is going to do for you. Not tomorrow. I said today, today. There is no witch. There is no voodoo priest. There is no politician. There is no ogre boss at work. There is no enemy. There is no doctor. There is no legal report that can stop what God is going to do for somebody in the house. Not tomorrow, I said. Shout yes if you are here. My goodness, jump to your feet and go and tell somebody you will not leave today the way you entered. I'm coming your way. Hello. Today is your day. Today is your day. Oh my goodness. Today is your day. Don't mind the doctors and what they told you. Today is your day. Today. Today is your day. Don't mind what the lawyer said. Today is your day. Don't mind the letter you got from your bank manager. Today is your day. Don't mind they came from your village to tell you what happened. But today is your day. If the devil knew, he would have stopped you from coming to church too late. But you are here. Therefore, it is too late. Today is your day. Stay with me. Today is your day. This God that we serve is <laughs> never over until he says so. He's not finished with you. Shout yes if you're in the house. Now hear me, hear me, hear me. Jesus, hear me. Please. Oh my goodness, hear me. Are you here? Yeah. Tell your neighbor, get excited. Get somebody is going to walk into his office tomorrow. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Listen. You are the one. Thank you. Let me stand in front of you. My goodness. Somebody is going to walk into his office tomorrow morning. And as you are entering, something happened today. So when you enter tomorrow, not your office, tomorrow can no longer be like today. Because God visited you. Receive it. Shout, today is my day. Today is... I haven't said anything yet. I'm just preparing us. Are you here? The book of Psalms 128 verse 5 <laughs> the Lord shall bless you out of Zion you shall see the good of Jerusalem all the days of your life not weeks I'm, I'm sorry wait I'm coming I want to clap for myself I want to clap for myself The Lord shall bless you out of Zion all the days of your life. You shall see your children's children <laughs> and peace upon Israel. Who am I talking to this morning? All of the days of your life. Tell that devil, this is another day that the Lord has made therefore I will rejoice and be glad because it is another day unless it's not a day then the devil can do what he wants this is another day my son Proverbs chapter 3 verse 1 my daughter do not forget my law but keep it my commandments in your heart for length of days will they give you long life peace shall they add to you length of days god has a way of counting in days 
Stay with me. Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 20. Love the Lord your God. Obey his voice. Cling unto him. He is your life. And length, the length of your days. Say to your neighbor, God is counting my days. Please. We are used to in church celebrating seasons. So when we step into a new year, we say, this is my year of favor. This is my year of blessings. This is my year. When it is our birthday, we celebrate another year, another passing of the cycling of the oscillation of the earth around the sun. So we celebrate one year. We celebrate our birthdays. We celebrate a new month. But God is not counting in years. God is not counting in months and weeks. God is not counting in decades and centuries and millennia. God is counting in days. Help me hear somebody. God counts in days. Say today is your day. Say it like you mean it. Say today is your day. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow all the days it's not a mistake that god did not say all the weeks he did not say all the years he said all the days of your life you know why because he's counting hello exodus chapter 23 verse 26 the bible says god will fulfill the number of your days goodness he rules over my day. He's in charge. Say yes if you're in the house. Yes. Shout yes if you're here. Yes. God numbers in days. It shall come to pass. I've jumped a number of things. It shall come to pass. Isaiah 10, 27. You're familiar with it. In that day that the burden shall be removed from off of your shoulders oh my goodness and the yoke from off of your neck and it shall be removed for which reason by reason of the anointing the anointing of god operates in days ah, oh my goodness i'm coming your way please go and preach to somebody and tell them today is your day today is your day go and tell somebody that Because, woman of God, when we come to church and we talk about the power of God, sometimes we expect that one day it will happen. But I came to tell you it's today. I said it's today. Let me tell you about the seed of the day and then I'm done. The seed of the day. Numbers chapter 14 verse 34 After the number of the days in which you searched the land I told you I've given you the land you went there and you were searching you wanted to check out if what God said is true are you in the house? therefore the same number of days by which you search the land, Numbers 14, 34, each day will be for a year, and therefore you will bear your iniquities, because the days by which you are searching is the seed for the harvest you will receive. Therefore, you searched the land for 40 days. You will wander in the wilderness for 40 years. Because the day is the seed for the harvest. God counts in days. Stay with me. Stay. Today is your day. You were searching the land for 40 days. Therefore, you will wander in the wilderness for 40 years. Because what you did for one day will bring about the harvest for years. Wow. 
when you study the book of Genesis and God is talking about creation, if you note, he talks about creation in days. In the first day, the Bible says, in the beginning, the earth was in darkness, in chaotic disorder. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light that he spoke. And God said, it was good. And this was the first day. And then he said, separate the firmaments. And it was so. And God said, it's the second day. Now let the waters gather together on one end and call this land and the other the sea. And it was so. And God says the third day. And so everything about creation up to humanity was counted in days. And since the creation was counted in days, the Bible says, and sun and darkness and summer and winter and day and night they will not cease. Why? Because what God did in a day will perpetuate itself. Stay with me. We are reading the same Bible. So the day is the seed that God monitors. What happens in the day determines what happens in the week. It determines what happens in the month. It determines what happens in the years. Actually, it determines what happens in the centuries and the millennia. Until we translate into eternity, your day will continue to be the seed for your future. Say to your neighbor, today is your day. Today is your day. Today, shout yes if you're in the house. Is somebody in church this morning? Because God numbers in days. The day is the seed. When they went into the land and they were spying the land, they did not understand that what they were doing per day was going to have consequences per year. Shout yes if you're in the house. Your struggle is over. The time and the season when you do not know what will happen to you is over. What will happen in the future, woman of God? How shall my life be? When will I? What will happen to me and my children? It's over. All you need to do is know what to do with the day and the future will be taken care of. Who am I talking to this morning? If you want to know what will happen next year, look at what you are doing today. My goodness. If you want to know what will happen next month, look at what you are doing today. If you want to know where you are going next decade, look at what you are doing today. Because your day is your seed for where you are going. Your breakthrough is now. Because, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say one or two things and take my seat. Like I said, I'm at home. I didn't come to sermonize. I came to family. If I was in my church, I would not be more comfortable than I am here. Are you with me? Reverend Mrs. I'm at home. I can preach for five minutes today and sit down. I give you back the microphone. And I will not. So I'm at home. Hear me this morning. Nobody needs to prophesy to you. Take hold of today. Lay hold of today. You don't need to worry about tomorrow. That's why I know that today is somebody's day. Because if you do certain things in your today, even the devil cannot argue with God about tomorrow.
please write these four things down. Your struggle is over. I said your struggle is over. Can I say it again? Your struggle is over. Do not be moved by what is going on around you. Just do what you need to do today. Don't worry about tomorrow. Just do what you need to do today. Your home is like a place on fire. But just do what you need to do today. Your business looks like it's falling apart. But just do what you need to do today. Your enemies are rising up against you. But just do what you need to do today. Don't worry about tomorrow. What will they do tomorrow? What is your business about tomorrow? Govern over your today. And the God that holds tomorrow in his hands will make sure that the seed of your today will bring about the right heaven. Shout yes if you're in the house. Therefore, I'm going to tell you four things and sit down. Now, the four things I'm about to say, don't let anybody cause you to deviate from what I'm about to tell you. They will come, man of God, and they will try to get you to take a corner and to change direction. But these four things, if you will do it in your today, tomorrow is guaranteed. Number one, write it down. Are you here? Yes. Number one, are, are you in the house? Yes. Good Lord. Oh my goodness, shout yes. yes. You must govern over your today. Please, please. Four things, but listen closely. There are three definitions of today. Today, you know, today. There are three definitions. Can I just give it to you very quickly? So you understand context. The first definition of today is that period one day between 12 midnight and 12 midnight. 24 hours. Are you with me? It's called a day, one day, right? There is 24 hours. There are 24 hours in one day. That's a definition of the day. But that definition includes day and night, even though it's called one day. Are you with me? That is the definition of a day where the earth oscillates on its own axis. It takes 24 hours for the earth to turn around on its own axis as it is journeying around the sun. That's one day. That one day includes day and night. There's another definition of day which is from the rising of the sun to the setting. So they say it's day. And then when the sun sets, you say it's night. Are you in the house? Where are the astrologers in the house that study astrology and so on? That's another definition of the day. That definition excludes night. So when you say, like, for example, this is daytime. The sun has risen. Or they define it as where the principal star of a planet is risen above its horizon. Are you in the house? Yes. So that's another definition of the day. And a third definition of the day is the most productive period in a person's life. So they say, ah, he's at his, she's at her twilight, you know, setting. That means the time when they can no longer work the way they used to work. So your day is also when you are able to put your energy and your life forces to work. So that's not 24 hours. It's not 12 hours. It is a season in your life when you are able to be productive. Shout yes if you are here. Yes. Now let me share with you three things, four things that you must not joke with during the day. Say amen. amen. Hello. Psalm 90 says, teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. I want to give you a little wisdom for the day. Say amen if you're here. Amen. Number one, very quickly, I want to stop soon. Are you in the house? Yes. Count your days. Count 
your days. Count the passage of time. Are you in the house? Many of us came to church this morning and we said this is March the 18th, 2018. Is that correct? No. I came to church this morning and I realized that today is the 77th day of this year. I counted the days, not the months and the weeks. Say to your neighbor, count your days. Hello? I said count your days. My friends in southern Africa asking me to help them negotiate with government to buy crude oil. And yet, if you read the news. They save their petrol in kegs. They save it in gallons. They store it in sheds because there is. They bring out what they have saved when they need it. I came with some information for somebody. You can save money. You can save all manner of things. But you cannot save time. You know how people come to your house, sit down, put their feet on the table, and begin to talk to you about things that don't matter. Hallelujah. Don't waste my time. Anybody that is wasting your time is depleting your future. Because of time. Two. Today is your day. Number two. Name your days. Name it. You give it relevance. You give it recognition. How many people here
Don't call me by a name. I, I, I need some help here. If your day is important, then why have you not named it? If you don't name it offering basket people will use it as a dustbin don't allow people to use your day as a dustbin who am i talking to this name your day because it has relevance today is monday it's the day of work today is sunday it's the day of worship name your day because anything that is unnamed is irrelevant. I, 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 I'm trying to do this quickly. Shout yes if you're in the house. Yes. Every person has a name. Every tribe has a name. Every nation has a name. Every business has a name. And your day does not have a name. Which is the seed for your business, seed for your home, seed for your children, seed for your family. Are you with me? Don't just name your day. But I wave your hands, whether savings or current. Wave your put your hands down. How many of us have more than one bank account? Wave your hands. Wave your hands. You have more than one account. Whether it's savings and current and it may be with the same bank, but wave your hands if you have more than one account. Right. Now, I would expect that if you have multiple accounts, it may be with the same bank. You have standard chartered bank. That's the way we are. That's the way we are. We, 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 we look after our women. So we set up accounts just for them.
He was the longest human being to live on record. But the only thing we were able to say about his entire number of days is that he lived, he died, and these are the children he had. Jesus! And I was checking her out. The dress she was wearing. She was not concerned about how the floor may stain it. She said, God, you are too much. I cannot but all you now god is going to show you something you have not seen before please i'm not clap them you don't understand but clap your hands god needs your hand he needs your anointing this morning he needs your faith clap your hands oh ye people Shout to the Lord with a voice of triumph. Clap them, clap them, clap them, clap them. Clap them for favor. Clap them. Clap them for your sister. Clap them for your brother. Clap them for your friend. Somebody needs your hands this morning. Clap them for grace. Hallelujah. 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 Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, clap them. Hallelujah. To God. If you are standing up front, raise your hands, both of your hands to the air. Both of your hands to the air. your troubles I put in confusion the camp of the enemy concerning you 
I cause the designers to lose their sanity. Whatever incantations, whatever handwriting that is speaking against you, whatever has been planted, whatever is rooted, whatever generational activity that is working against your great destiny, your homes go and fulfill destiny ladies and gentlemen look at me everybody standing up Any dream, any human being or devil that tells you that not daughter of zion you have the victory come on come on who was that help me here be still and know that i'm god where are you where did you run everybody in the house her in fact the hospitals refuse to take her you know when the case is that bad eventually she was taken to a teaching hospital we got all kinds of consultant physicians to see her and they said it's cancer and it's terminal cancer so a very close relative of mine so we had to gather money serious in Africa people die if you don't have money we were gathering money from everywhere and sending everything to deliver her. And then I went into my room.
I can't cure a headache, but I know the God that we serve. I know him. When the woman of God said,